As we come into this time of prayer, I think sometimes it's important to recognize that even those of us who've had a relationship with God for a really long time can get caught in a quagmire, not knowing how to talk to God or what to speak to him. So today I urge us to perhaps go back to basics. Right now in this prayer time, I'm going to be following the ACTS method of prayer. Adoration, confession, thanksgiving and supplication. We start with adoration. Right now we want to tell God how much we adore him and how we love him for who he is. Revelations 4 verse 11 says to us, you are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things. By your will they were created and have their being. Father God, today I offer you my praise. I praise you for your mercy that reaches out, for your patience that awaits my return. For your love that is always ready to welcome me and bring me home. You are faithful. You are kind. You take the broken offerings I bring to the altar and you accept them and make them new. Lord, today I adore you for who you are not just what you do. Lord, as I come to you, it's important that I offer you confession. It's important that I bring to you the things I know I have done wrong. On a global level, we know the world has issues. We know the world has sinned. We see it constantly in our news, Lord. On a community level, in our street, in our church, we see symptoms of a sinful world. Lord, and on a personal level, as I interact with my friends, my family, in my work, Lord, I take these moments to reflect on ways that I have gone wrong. On ways that I have not shown your love or your mercy or your grace as I should have. Lord, I ask you for your forgiveness. And I ask that as you forgive me, you enable me to forgive others. You enable me to let go of the things that I hold on to with hurt and hatred. And Lord, where I have been wronged or where I see things in my community that are wrong or where on a greater, more global level, we see evidence of your creation not being looked after the way it should. Hear our repentance, Lord, and inspire us to act for justice with compassion and with your mercy. Lord, right now we bring you thanks Sometimes, when things around us look difficult, it can be hard to bring prayers of thanksgiving to you. But right now, I want to recognise that I have a lot to be thankful for personally. And I know as a community, despite how difficult things may be for some people, we have much to be thankful for. Lord, right now, in a few moments of quietness, I ask that you'll take these things that I think of 
the things that I am right now going to think of to be thankful for. For my family, for my friends, for my security and my comfort. One Thessalonians five verse eighteen says, "Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ." Lord, I thank you. I truly give you thanks. And finally, supplication. Lord, we want to pray for all of those around us who are hurting right now, and who need you. Lamentations 3 verses 21 to 23 say this, But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Right now we call down that faithfulness and that love, Lord, on those who are hurt, on those who are grieving, on those who live in anxiety, Lord. For those for which going to bed at night does not give them rest but gives them this clench in their stomach and a wearing mind lord we pray for them lord for those who know that there are circumstances in their life that they need to change or they want to change but they feel stuck in lord we pray for them we pray that they will find freedom in you Lord, we recognise that you call us not only to love you and to love others, but also to act on that love, Lord. And we ask that where there are actions that are needed, where there are things that need to be done to help those who are in need, that you will give us the opportunity, that you will point us in the direction, that you will inspire us, that you will move our hands and our feet to do that. Lord, I take this moment to be still, to breathe deeply, and to thank God, thank you for your presence in my life. I breathe out right now and I release into your hands all of those things I've prayed for. In the name of your Holy Son, Jesus. Amen.